Hi everybody, my name is Janine and I'm creator of Learn the Sky. I'll be teaching you in this video today. Today's video will be a little bit different. I'll be showing you an educational tool that I use in my own classroom that has really inspired me to learn more about the sky, about the stars, and it's just open up the possibilities um, as to what is out there. I've learned so much from this program and I really wanna share it with you. Also a quick public service announcement. Today is voting day in the United States. So if you haven't done so already, please make sure you go out and vote. Your vote does count. So this is called 100,000 stars and it's a Chrome experiment that I've been using for years because it gives a really great visual on what our local not only our star system, but all the other star systems that are in our local region. So I am going to actually start with zooming out. And I do encourage you when you first use this teaching tool, go ahead and take the tour. But I'm going to give you my own tour of this particular um, this particular website because I just I just love it so much. So this you can zoom all the way out and see exactly where we are in the Milky Way galaxy. This is a great tool to teach about galaxies as well because it gives you an idea of what the shape of our own galaxy is. So we live in a spiral galaxy. This is what it looks like from a bird's eye view, but then this is what it looks like edge on. So I'm gonna just kind of move this around and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to zoom in. And what you can see is that we kind of live about two thirds of the way out from the center of our own galaxy. So I'm gonna keep zooming all the way in and just go ahead and introduce our star, the sun. So here's the sun. This is as close as you can zoom up and you can see that right here. There's also some cool music with this uh, with this website, so feel free to use that as well. Um, I usually toggle the music off, but as I'm scrolling back, you can see all the terrestrial planets. You can see the Jovian planets. And then as we keep moving back, you can start to see some of the stars that are very, very close to us. One that I definitely want to point out is Proxima, uh, Proxima Centauri and Alpha Centauri. Those are the closest star systems to us. In fact, Proxima Centauri, and I'm staring in here because it's really hard to point out sometimes, but Proxima Centauri is the closest star to us, and it's a red dwarf star. And when you click on these, you can see right here that a little description from Wikipedia pops up. And this is a great way to just get started learning a little bit more about this star. So if we zoom out, okay, keep zooming and zooming and zooming, and there we go, you got to see some more stars. And the more you zoom out, the more you'll start to see. There's some other features I wanna show you right here. This is the spectral index. So when I click this button, all the different stars that are located in this area are shown, but it's shown by color. Remember that stars come in a variety of sizes, colors, and temperatures. The hotter stars are on the blue range, but cooler stars are on the red side um, in terms of color. We're kind of right in the middle with our sun being a yellow star. So this just gives you an idea of all the different colors that are out there. And that's something that's difficult for us to see when we're observing the night sky because our, our, our eyes at night are, are better at detecting light than color. So I'm gonna toggle this off and if you need to kind of recenter, you can center, hit this button right here and it'll recenter where you want to go. Um, and also, if you click and hold your mouse and circle around, you're able to see different stars, uh, kind of like the different plane of the universe. So I'm going to keep zooming out, and as you can see, there are lots of things to do. So what you want to do is click on one of these stars. So I'm going to look for one that I find really interesting one that I didn't know much about, and that's Regulus, or Regulus, some people pronounce it differently. Um, but Regulus is a fascinating star system because it is actually a quadruple star system. And you can see that when you zoom out. Right, I only see three, am I missing one? There it is. So here you can see this is actually a quadruple star system. 
So when I show this to students, they're like, it really kind of blows their mind. They're like, wow, I didn't know that even existed, that there are star systems like this. So you can zoom out, and the farther you zoom out, you can see it's one point of light, but as you zoom in, there's a lot more going on here. So this is one of my favorites to show students because it's multiple colors going on here, different sizes, and this is a conversation if you happen to be an astronomy teacher watching this channel, you can have this dialogue with your students, like why are these different sizes? Why are some moving faster than, than others? So this is just a kind of a dialogue starter, and it's, it's a really great tool for students to use. And even if you're not a student who's sitting in a school, we're all lifelong learners. So this is a great tool that will help you just gain more awareness as to what star systems are around us. I'm trying to find my favorite one. I may have to zoom in a little bit. Oh, where is it? Where is it? I'm struggling to find it, but that's okay. Um, I have spent hours on this just exploring all the different stars in our star system. So I encourage you to do the same. Try using this piece of technology just to get a better idea of what's out there. Well, this is my overview of this awesome tool called 100,000 Stars. I hope you enjoy using it. I will put the link for it down below. And if you decide to check this out, let me know what you think. I really enjoy learning with this tool. Um, I've discovered a ton of different types of information about stars. And I'm always surprised as I discover more and more using this application. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And again, if you haven't gone out to vote, please make sure you do it. It's important to make sure your voice is heard. Good luck viewing the stars. I wish you luck. Remember, it takes time, patience, and practice to really understand what you're seeing up there. Good luck and keep looking up.